Nine of the NRL kicks off on Thursday night when the South Sydney Rabbitohs host the Brisbane Broncos in a grudge match. Earlier in the season, it was the Bronco winning against the Rabbitohs, and it's finally time for Adam Reynolds to go up against his old club. All these tips and more in this video. which is on Thursday night from Acor ANZ Stadium sees the Rabbitohs up against the Broncos. The Rabbitohs hitting form last week, scoring 40 points against the Manly Seagulls after an early send-off at Central Coast Stadium. Adam Reynolds, who's been in some great form uh, in some big moments, going up against his old club in this one. I'll tell you what, this uh, iPad that I'm using to read the team list is a bit glitchy, so just bear with me. Uh, Kurt Capewell, a huge out for the Brisbane Broncos, but Payne Haas is also out for this game. Shakai Mitchell, who made his NRL debut last week, is also out for this one. So, look, those are some big outs, in my opinion, um, for the Brisbane Broncos. And that's why I can't see them winning this game. I know that earlier in the season when these sides met, it was the Brisbane Broncos coming away with the victory over the Rabbitohs. But I'm going to go with the Rabbitohs by 12 here. I think that the Rabbitohs will be too good, uh, especially being a home game as well. I think they'll get a, a decent crowd uh, the week before Magic Round, these games are. So going to go the Rabbits 30 to the Broncos 18. I think they're capable of scoring some points, especially Adam Reynolds going up against his old club. I think he's going to be fired up for a big game and, and have a good game himself. So I'm going to go Rabbitohs by 12, 30 points to 18. And I'm going to back the centre from the South Sydney Rabbitohs, who was in some great form last week. And he's been talked about in the Origin jersey. Whether he'll be there is a very different question. I'm going to go with Campbell Graham as my first try scorer for the first game on Thursday night. The next game sees the struggling Canberra Raiders, who are right down the bottom of the ladder in 15th position as we speak, going up against the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs, who got a nice win over the Roosters and are out of 16th position on the NRL ladder. This is a very interesting game. On paper, I think the, the Bulldogs have a, a much better team then the Raiders with Addo Carr, uh, Burton, Flanagan, Dufty at fullback. A uh, few changes for the Raiders. Jared Croker has been named in the centres for his first game of 2022. Big wraps to Jared as he is hopefully going to reach that 300-game milestone shortly. I can't wait to see it. Chance Nickel Klockstad has been named at fullback for the Raiders with Jordan Rapana going back into the wing. Um, also for the Raiders, Elliot Whitehead has been named after that horrible mouth injury. Tom Starling on the bench as Adam Elliott has the starting spot. Semi Valame and Jack Whiten suspended for this game, which is a huge out. Xavier Savage has been named in jersey number 20. And <clears throat> that's about it for that team. Uh, Brent Naden has been named for the Bulldogs to return on the wing. I was impressed with the Dogs. I think that the Dogs started to... They started to let the Roosters back into it. Uh, so did refereeing, mind you. Uh, but the Roosters, they really haven't impressed me much this season. Neither have this, these Canberra Raiders, two teams that I thought would be quite up there. I think I had... Oh, no. Actually, I had the Raiders 14th pre-season. Uh, but, look, I think it's a Friday night. It's in Canberra. And I really want to tip Canterbury here because I think Canterbury can pull off uh, what's considered as an upset. I honestly think Canterbury should be the favourites. But, look, I'm going to tip Canberra here. I think the Raiders... We'll learn a lot from last week. I think there was a lot of uh, their second half woes, man. They have to get the second half right to win this game. Otherwise, they are stuffed. But look, I really want to tip Canterbury, but I'm going to go Canberra by four. I think they'll be too good at home. I think there's some big changes to the side. They're the right changes as well. I don't know if I agree with Adam Elliott starting for Tom Starling. I think Tom Starling is a much better option at hooker. But I'm going to go the Raiders by four. I'm going to go 22 to 18. I can't believe I'm saying this. Raiders by four. I was so oh, sold on tipping the Bulldogs, but I th and especially with Jack Whiten being out. But I just think, even though Matt Frawley is coming in that six, he's done the job before, he's a do-the-job kind of player. Raiders by four, 22 to 18, and Nick Kotrick first try score up for this one. This game is one of the biggest games of the 2022 NRL season. It is a rematch of the final from last year in week two between the Penrith Panthers and the Parramatta Eels. It's going to be a huge game at the foot of the mountains. I haven't made the trip to Penrith in two or three years now. 
And I'll be there. I'm pretty keen. I'm very keen to be there on Friday night for Panthers and Eels. It's going to be a massive game. Let's have a look at both of these sides. Brian Toto has been named in jersey number 24 for the Panthers. That would be a huge in for them. Jacob Arthur has been dropped to the reserves in jersey 19. So the bench is Makatoa, Madison, Oregon, Gafusi, and Bryce Cartwright. And Dylan Brown is back in that number six jersey. I said that if Dylan Brown was not in that number six jersey, I wouldn't be making the trip down. I think it's going to be a great game of footy. Penrith, they have won eight games in a row. It's round nine, and they're still winning game. They're at home. They have that incredible record at home. They're playing some great footy as well, the Penrith Panthers. So everybody will be tipping them. And... Honestly, based on last week's performance, how can you go against them? I think Parramatta have really struggled under pressure, and I think this game will be tight. I don't think it will be a blowout. And I, like the Raiders, I almost don't want to tip the boys. Uh, but uh, you know what? I'm going to tip them. I reckon Parramatta will win this game. I think Parramatta, by a field goal, I don't think this game will go to golden points so the curse to continue. But I think Mitchell Moses under some pressure. Finally kicks that field goal. I predicted golden point for the Raiders and Warriors. The Raiders 21 to 20 and the Warriors won 21 to 20. So let's see if we can do it again with our one point game. I'm going the Eels 19 to the Panthers 18. And I think the Eels will get off to a good start with their first try scored by Isaiah Papalihi. Parramatta Eels by one point on Friday night. It's going to be a cracker and it's all about revenge. Game sees the Manly Seagulls who went down in a brave defeat to the South Sydney Rabbitohs last round, going up against the West Tigers. Now, I want to let you know that going into this game, and I obviously didn't know that Tom Trevojevic was back, David Nofaluma was out, Luciani Lelua was out. I was very tempted to tip the West Tigers here. I know they put in a bad performance last week, and I'm not sold on them this year, but I think they're a pretty good record against the Tigers. I think they're a team that can trouble some of the bigger teams, um, which they've already done this season with the Eels and the Rabbitohs. Teams that are kind of fighting for that top eight. Brad Parker is out for the Seagull. Jason Saab is out. So on the wing, Christian Tubalatu. Ben Travojevic in the centres for this one. His brother Tom. So all three Travojevic brothers are starting for this game. Great. Uh, as for the Tigers, Tyrone Peachy has been named in jersey number 14. Uh, Alex Twal on the bench with Thomas McKayley and Stefano Utuikamanu. So the Tigers... They're coming off a, a loss last week, and David Nofaluma being out, that's a huge out for mine, and probably one of the reasons I won't be tipping the Tigers. Great to see Josh Schuster back in the NRL last week, and he'll be up for another big game, especially at home for the Seagulls here. So I'm going to tip Manly by 18. I think that they'll be boosted by the return of Tom Travojevic. So I'm going to go with a scoreline of 32 points to 14. The Seagulls to get it done by 18. And probably my roughest try scorer for the year, the first try scorer for this game for the Manly Seagulls is Sean Kepi. Sean Kepi, mate, cross that line. First try scorer on Saturday. Next game is from Mackay. It is a home game for the Sydney Roosters who have been not impressive at all this season. I think the Titans have shown me more than the Roosters, especially last week. The Titans were able to compete with the Penrith Panthers, the premiers um, of the NRL. Look, Really interesting game, this one. you got David Fafita out for the Titans. Uh, has he been dropped, or has he... I thought he was... No, he's completely out. David Fafita out for this one. Jermaine Asako in jersey 18. Philip Sami in jersey number 21. So you've got AJ Brimson once again at fullback. Will Smith and Sexton in the halves. Uh, and in David Fafita's jersey, you've got Kevin Proctor coming back to the starting side. Um, as for the Roosters... Not too many changes besides Adam Curran out and Paul Momorowski uh, returns from missing last week. Look, Roosters home game, Zim Mackay. I don't want to tip him. I really don't want to tip him. The Sydney Roosters have been shocking all year and I don't want to tip him, but I'm going to tip him. And I swear to God, Roosters, if you lose this game, I won't tip you again this year. I'm going to go the Roosters by 10. I think they'll win 1-12. to I don't think they'll blow the Titans off the park. No way, Jose. Especially what we've seen in recent years between these teams. It's always been a tight game. I'm going to go the Roosters by 10. I think it'll be a low-scoring game. I'm going to go 22-12. to And I reckon Sam Verrills, the hooker for the Roosters, is going to cross that line and score the first try. Roosters by 10. 
Don't let me down, Roosters. The next game is a home game for the Cowboys. And if you remember what I said a few weeks ago, I will not be tipping the Cowboys when they are playing. I will not be tipping against the Cowboys, sorry, when they are playing at home. And that's why my tip is the Cowboys without even looking at this one. Up against the Newcastle Knights, who have scored four points in two weeks. A shocking result for the Knights. They've conceded 89 points in the last fortnight. Already looking at this Knights team, man, what the hell is going on? You've got Tex Hoy in the 6, Phoenix Croslin in the 7. Uh, you've got Anare Tuala in the centres rather than on his preferred position of the wing. Uh, Lachlan Fitzgibbon has been named for a return. Uh, Matt Croker is in via the bench. Jack Johns is in via the bench. Clune, Brody Jones, Jake Clifford, Suase Su out. That's all I'm going to say. Cowboys by plenty. Cowboys at home. They beat the Eels in Darwin 35-4 to last week. Very, very impressed by the Cowboys. And their defense has been just as good as a Melbourne Storm from something that I read, which is just outrageous um, to think that they are third on the NRL ladder. And a lot of people, including myself, tip the Cowboys as wooden spooners. They look like they're firming for a spot in the eight. I'm going to just say now that I think the Cowboys... I don't know whether they make the eight, but I think they will not finish below 10th. Their lowest spot on that ladder is 10th for me. I think there's a lot of team that are below the Cowboys. So I'm going to go the Cowboys 34 to 10, a big victory for the Cowboys by 24. I think the Newcastle Knights, they finally score a try. I reckon it'll be through the centers. So I'm going to take, who's jersey number four? Who's jersey number four? This, uh, this iPad just doesn't like to load. So I'm going to take number four for the Newcastle Knights. It won't load at this current point in time. Bradman Best. Bradman Best to break that try-scoring drought, just like Luke Thompson did for the Bulldogs last year. So I'm going to go the Cowboys 34-10. First try-scorer, Valentine Home. This game sees the Melbourne Storm up against the St. George Illawarra Dragons. The Dragons, three wins in a row. The Storm, they are in red-hot form right now. They are playing some very, very good football on the back of Cameron Munster and Xavier Coach. You can chuck in Ryan Pappenhausen there, the leader of the Dally M. Tepai Maroa is out for this one. Cooper Johns has been named in jersey number 21. Cody Ramsey has been named in jersey 19 for the Dragons. Jack Bird has been named to return at 5'8 after uh, uh, Jaden Sullivan was the 5'8 last week for the St. George Illawarra Dragons. They got a scrappy win over the West Tigers, almost let it back in the game. One of the, the bets for the round for me is the Dragons at the line here. I think the Dragons plus 20.5, especially with the form they've been in, is so disrespectful. I don't think they can win on Sunday afternoon, but I give them a chance to give it a tight game. I think that the Storm will be too good for the Dragons. 26 to 16, so the Storm to win by 10 points. And I reckon... That Xavier Coates, it's not much of a prediction, Xavier Coates to score the first try for this one. But I do think the Dragons will put in a bit of a fight. And at some point, they early on, they may even lead the Storm. That's a bold prediction, but the Storm by 10. The final game for this round sees the Cronulla Sharks go up against the New Zealand Warriors. Now the Warriors, they got the win in Golden Point, as I almost predicted, uh, against the Canberra Raiders last week. Jesse Arthurs, who had a good start to last week, is out for this one. Dallin Martini Zalesniak is in for the Warriors. As for the Sharks, they looked unchanged. Dale Finucane is back and listed at starting at lock. Besides that, Connor Tracy has been named in jersey number 22 and Matty Cavallo in jersey number 23. The Sharks shot themselves in the foot after halftime against the Broncos. The Broncos' defense was fantastic, and I almost thought about... I think if Payne Haas and those players were playing, I'd have a big lean towards the Broncos on Thursday night, but... Look, as for this game, I think the Sharks, I think Craig Fitzgibbon is going to be into them about their defense. It's something they've been fairly good at for the most part all year. So I think that they're going to be very defensive here and there's not going to be many points scored by the old Warriors. So at home, I think the Sharks will be too good for the Warriors. I think they'll win by 16. I'm going to go 22 points to 6. And I think another game from Nico Hines to step up. I'll back Nico Hines to score the first try for this. But not least, guys, let's get into the betting segment. So I'm going to go with a four-leg multi here, the Cowboys 13+, plus, the Manly Seagulls to win head-to-head -head at home. I like the Dragons plus 21.5. I do think they can win. Uh, sorry, they can lose 1-12 to against the Storm. Wouldn't be surprised if the Storm win by around that 16-20. to 20. 
I'd be pretty surprised if the Dragons get blown out of the water. They've been playing some decent footy for the most part. Cronulla Sharks to win. That gets you $5.04. And then I'm going to chuck in seven uh, or eight <clears throat> try scorers for the round. So I reckon Cameron Murray, Rabbitohs and Broncos. Jared Croker, he's got his NRL return coming up. I reckon he can bag himself a try. Clint Gutherson against the Penrith Panthers. I think that Gutho is due a try. Alex Twal. This is it. Alex Twal to score for the Tigers against Manly to stand up when he's needed. Unfortunately, going down in defeat. Alex Twal to be a David Nofaluma this week and bag himself. His first NRL try. How good would that be? Nat Butcher for the Sydney Roosters. Valentine Holmes. It's a safe one, that one, for the Cowboys. I like that. $2.10, I think. Rabalawa for the Dragons at $3. And Jesse Ramian for the Cronulla Sharks. Let me know your tips in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys later.